वेलकम बैक माई डियर द ब्राउनिंग वर्जन प्रो सिक्स पार्ट थ्री फ्रेंक आस्क हिम एट वॉट टाइम डिड मिस्टर हैरीज आस्क हिम टू कम टू स्कूल टैपलो टोल्ड हिम सिक्स थर्टी फ्रेंक सजेस्ट हिम टू गो एंड प्ले गोल्फ for a little while as he would be 10 minutes late chaplo refuses as he is afraid of what would happen if he shows up in his absence he here refers to his teacher and he might follow him home frank tells him that he is a little jealous of mr harris because of the effect he has on all the boys in the forms he asks him if harry's beat his rims to which taplo says that no he is not someone who derives pain by hurting others there are one or two other teachers like that frank asked him to be more specific and he explains to him the meaning of saddest frank asked him what he was saying about other masters here the hard words are cut saddest pardon envy and indeed next para taplo explains to him that there are many teachers in the school whose names he will not take but they are a sadist they think that the boys don't understand a thing but frank is different from them as he is young and he is from a science background and must know about sadism Frank in a surprising tone exclaims about the condition of his schools. Chaplo goes on ranting about Mr. Harris. He shares that Mr. Crocker Harris is not a sadist and yet he has no feelings. He is a type of person who might hate it when people like him. He further says He does not know about any master there who doesn't like being liked. Frank mocks him and says he has not seen any student using this quality for his own purpose. Chaplo agrees and calls Mr. Crocker Harris Crock again to which Frank corrects him by saying his full name. Chaplo corrects himself and admits that he still likes him and he cannot help it. Sometimes Mr. Harry sees it and he wrinkles even more to which Frank replied that he must be exaggerating. The hard words are shriveled up exaggerating. Next paragraph. The door up right is pushed open and Millie Crocker Harris enters. She is a thin woman in her late 30s, rather more smartly dressed than the general run of school masters wives. She is wearing a cape and carries a shopping basket. She closes the door and then stands by the screen watching Taplo and Frank. It is a 5 seconds before they notice her. Taplo shares further that one day Mr. Crocker Harris cracked one of his classic jokes to which no one laughed. He understood that the joke was meant to be funny and laughed anyway. because he wanted to be polite and to feel sorry for him making such poor jokes he does not remember what the joke was and asked frank to suppose he cracked the joke right away and asked him to laugh 
He imitated his teacher again and told Frank what his reaction was when he laughed at his joke. Mr. Crocker Harris asked him to explain the joke to the rest of the form as he was the only one laughing in the class. As he was saying this, the door of the classroom opened and Millie, the wife of Mr. Crocker Harris, entered the class. She was a thin woman who dresses smarter than the rest of the women who are wives of schoolmasters. She was wearing a cape and was carrying a shopping basket. She closed the door as she entered and stood next to the screen watching both of them talking. They noticed after a few seconds. Next paragraph. As Frank was joking about telling the joke to others, he saw Millie and stopped talking. He turned around and was relieved by seeing her there and wished her hello. She replied hello without any expressions on her face and put her basket on the side boot. Chaplow asked Frank in a desperate tone if she had heard any of their conversation. Frank thought that she did because she was standing there for quite some time. Millie took her cape off and hung it on hall stand. Chaplow in a worrying tone says if she did hear them then he will not get his remove and Frank tells him not to think too much. Frank crosses the fireplace. Next paragraph. Millie picks up the basket from the sideboard and puts it on the table. She asks Chaplow if he is waiting for his husband, to which he replies yes. She tells him he is at the bursars and it might take some time. If she was in his place, she might have left. Chaplow replies that he said he will come. As Millie unpacks the things from the basket, she suggests him to go for a quarter of an hour and then come back to check on him. Chaplow asks her if Mr. Harris comes back before him, then what will happen? Millie assured him that she will take the blame for this and takes out a prescription from the basket. She hands it over to him and asks him to bring medicines for her from the chemist. He agreed and crosses the door upright. So in this way, the play ends here. But actually it's a long story and before this play and after this play the po portion given for you in your book we have a lot of things left so if you're interested you can watch the movie made on it it is black and white movie and i have link also to share but i cannot share it here personally if you ask me on my whatsapp number i will share with you because it's a full length movie and uh, uh, movies are actually are of different kind so there are some scenes not suitable for you that's why uh, a particular part I have captured and if you wish that I can share with you so in this way you have come to know how there is a teacher and uh, how this teacher mocks how this teacher is jealous of another teacher and that other teacher is very strict and how he is uh, giving extra work to his student as his as he was absent and the teacher is also for that day uh, going to leave that place so just read the story once again and you will enjoy in next video i will share with you the question and answers okay so thank you very much once again thank you for watching